How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? I'm Danny Mata, the world's leading expert on Boongo Stray Dogs. Now, I've got another amazing video for you guys here today, but this isn't gonna be like any other video, because today, we're going into this video with the power of knowledge. This is Dead Apple, the Bungo Stray Dogs movie. All right, this is a special occasion. I can just dive into this thing willy-nilly. You can call me a lot of things, all right? But two things you can never call me are willy and nilly. I won't hear of it, that's just... It's just not who I am. So I did my homework, and I read the entirety of No Longer Human. And let me tell you, boy does Bungo Stray Dogs have a loose interpretation of Osamu Dazai. This was such an insane bummer of a story, if you can even call it that. This is one of those books that's less of a story and more of a nihilistic rambling of a very depressed man. Essentially, this is about a man who uses humor to mask his disdain for the world because he feels like a societal outcast. And this guy hates everything. Society, relationships, people, uh, specifically women. If I'm being completely honest, this guy hates most nouns. This book is a lot of the protagonist just rattling off things he hates while also being like, people found me incredibly funny because I was funny the funniest in all the world, especially around women and prostitutes, though their opinion hardly matters considering they are the dumbest breed of people. Now, despite me ragging on the book, I do think it's fine. It's a lot like Fight Club, it's a lot like American Psycho in terms of its, like, general tone and narrator. It reminds me a lot of Albert Camus' The Stranger, which is one of my favorite books of all time, in that it's got a very cold and objective voice, and it's less your typical narrative and more a character study. The prose is very well written and engaging, at least my translation is, uh, but the general story just sort of feels unimpactful. It really does feel like an edgier, less complex version of The Stranger, but that could just be because, like, I love that book and I read it before I read this. It's just very okay. Like, there's nothing about this that leaves a very big, lasting impression other than the narrator's voice, which is, like, fairly unique and engaging. Now, that being said, did I gain any insight into Bungo Stray Dogs after reading this? Absolutely not. Not even a little. Which is funny, because a lot of the reviews on Amazon for this book were, like, people looking to read it for the same reason I was. And I honestly don't know what I expected, considering I have read a few of the books mentioned in this show, and they hardly connect to the characters at all. But I was hoping that considering Dazai's, like, a main character of the show, there'd be sort of a deeper connection between the book his abilities based off of and him. No, uh, -huh. Not really. If you really wanted to make a stretch, you could say that the protagonist of this book is nihilistic and feels isolated from society, and Dazai's ability in the show allows him to isolate people from what makes them special. Also, the protagonist of this book is like a prankster kind of guy, which is pretty in line with Dazai, so there are a couple of connections in that regard. Was it worth reading an entire book to get to that conclusion? Absolutely not. Was it worth reading an entire book to claim that I'm the world's leading expert in Boongo Stray Dogs? You bet. Sorry I kind of breezed through my review of this book. While I know some of you were excited to hear my opinions on it, I know a lot of you also don't care. So now that I got my book report out of the way and I'm feeling sufficiently arrogant, let's get into the movie. This is sickening. No matter which way you look, you can't escape the carnage. No matter which way you look, you can't escape that damn moon. I think the moon taking up half of the horizon is a little more concerning than the dead mafia members. <sighs> At least this little one survived. You're one lucky kid. I don't know how lucky she is being born in Moonsville, USA. Can you piss off already? <laughs> Nice hot pink motorcycle, Chuya. Really looking like a badass out here with your Polly Pocket bike and your fedora. He was able to hit me three more times while you kept me waiting. Aw, poor baby. Want me to pick up where he left off? Whoa, hey, slow down! You guys gotta be a little more subtle than that, all right? We got a system here. You guys say something mildly suggestive, and I blow it out of proportion. You can't just go around being overtly in love with each other. All right, that puts me out of a job. Save that energy for our approaching guests. I thought he was gonna say bedroom. I've crafted an organization, but still haven't obtained what I seek. I want back the friends you killed. Is that... Is that a real request? Pretty sure that's not how being killed works, Chuya. Bastard. Don't 
Don't stop me, Dazai. Yo, somebody's gotta have a real heart-to-heart -heart with Chuya about his fashion choices. He's wearing a fedora and a sleeveless hoodie. This dude looks like a stripping magician. <laughs> this is too much fun. Victor? Now we have Yuri on Ice characters in here? Was the writer of this movie just like, fuck it, this one's for the gays. This one's for the gals, gays, and theys, baby. Ain't no one gonna stop us. The main villain is literally drawn with a rainbow outline. <laughs> this movie's making some statements. I've never even heard of you wanting to visit someone's gravesite before. Do I really look like someone who's visiting a grave to you? Uh, yeah, you do. Huh? Yeah, you do. That's shocking to you? You're the one cuddling the tombstone. Was this person someone you had been in love with? If it had been a woman, I would have died with her. Oh yeah, how could I forget about that? That's not a no. He didn't ask if it was a woman, he asked if you were in love, you slippery bastard. Why? Well, there's a new method of suicide I wanted to test out. I should have guessed. Man. We'll have fun with that. Quick lesson for everybody. If one of your friends ever says something like that to you, don't respond that way. The Special Operations Division has a name for this event. They're calling it the Serial Gifted Suicide Outbreak. Oh my god, this is a villain that makes you want to kill yourself? This is gonna be Dazai's ultimate rival? Is this gonna end with Dazai being the only person who can beat this guy because he's so bad at committing suicide? Since we're on the subject, where is Dazai anyway? <laughs> uh... Killing himself? Much that I've told somebody. But I'm assuming there's more to it. We've been asked to investigate the matter. We received information that a man thought to be involved in these serial suicides. Can this chick shut up? I can't hear a word he's saying! Mr. Kunikita, can I ask you something? What is it? Do you think somebody could make people commit serial suicide? I don't think anybody can commit serial suicide. I think the first suicide you commit is typically your last. Hmm. Did you find something? I think the murderer left this. An apple? Oh, it's the titular dead apple! We have our victim! I've heard some interesting stories lately. What do you know about apple suicide? Apple suicide? Is that what that apple committed? Yep, you heard me right. Oh, like from Cinderella. Cinderella. Oh, like death by apple? That was wild of him to take a swing at guessing what apple suicide was. There was no way I was even going to attempt to know what apple suicide was. I see. I got it wrong then. Come to think of it, maybe Snow White really did commit suicide after all. Now I'm pretty sure she just goofed. I brought this up because I met a unique gifted the other day. He can make people commit apple suicide. Dude, what is apple suicide? You guys retconning Snow White was not enough of an explanation for me. Maybe it'll take off here in Yokohama someday. Suicide? Yeah. Wouldn't it be beautiful? What is this conversation? What is this show's agenda towards making suicide hip? They got Dazai over here trying to make killing yourself seem like some cute, quirky trend. Like, oh, that's just Dazai hanging from the rafters there. Why don't you get on down, you silly goose? This show is just on such a weird pro-suicide campaign. Ongo's really late. He won't be coming tonight. Odasaku. Ah, he ordered his drink for him. Oh, that's brutal. The only thing sadder than drinking alone is drinking without somebody. I'm not getting reception. <laughs> yes, there we go. Seeing an ass wiggle show up in the Boongo Stray Dogs movie is like seeing a superhero cameo show up in a Marvel film. You know, you expect it, but you're excited when it happens. Do you think... This is the same fog that makes Gifted kill themselves? Probably, so how about we shut this damn window? Let's go to the agency. Huh? <laughs> Let's stay inside and close the window. The streets are covered in murder fog. Why would you leave your house? Get out, you good for nothing. <laughs> no matter how long you search, you'll never find a place where you belong. Oh my god, wait, does the fog convince people to kill themselves? I thought it just used their powers against them. There's no way people are walking into this fog and then getting tricked into killing themselves.
Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. So if the fog turns your abilities against you, what attack Kunikita? A notebook? Atsushi. You're hurt! Did you get shot? I got the bullet out. I'll be fine. A notebook with a Glock? Tell us who did this to you. I got shot by my own ability. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. That's what I'm saying. How do you get a notebook to hold a gun? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, true. Kyoka's probably the worst person to be trapped in this fog with. Oh my god, wait. You know what I just realized? You know who'd be the best person to get trapped in this fog with? Rompo. Special operations? That's right. My name is Ongo Sakaguchi. Kunikita. What is the current situation there? Wait, I'm confused. You know what? I'm just gonna see how things play out, because I can't tell if I missed something, or, I, or I'm just stupid. This feels like a bit of a twist, but if it's not a twist, then I'm, I'm gonna look dumb. But if it is a twist, I don't get it. Not only have the gifted lost the use of their abilities, but they're being hunted down by them as well. Oh my god, please just cut to Rompo being alone and confused in the streets. Or just cut to him, like, swinging at something that isn't there because he can't cope with the fact that he doesn't have abilities. We were able to track him to this abandoned high-rise in the center of Yokohama, a building called Mukuro Toride. Dog, that's a spaceship. What are you talking about, abandoned high-rise? That's like a Final Fantasy villain's castle. What's all this? We are the Armed Detective Agency. Oh fuck. Kunikita remains the best character of this series. <laughs> Was that Kunikita? Why is Kyoka driving? <laughs> this building's just rotting in the center of Yokohama. It goes above the clouds. It seems like an insane safety hazard for the entire city. Tell me, Dazai, that sight you're looking out on, isn't it boring? Oh, we got Dazai looking his absolute spiffiest over here. Your real intentions are quite obvious. If this were a play, you would have already lost your audience. What, what accent do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You? Octagawa! This show burns Octagawa way harder than I ever could. Atsushi has to remind himself that he knows who Octagawa is, despite him being one of the show's primary antagonists. He's just like, wait a second, don't I know you from somewhere? Yeah, 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 you're Aqueduct, right? It's the dragon's breath. The what? Kyoka. Since neither of us have our special abilities, you could easily kill me right here. Oh yeah, good point. Kill him. Look, she doesn't think about you guys anymore or any of that stuff from her past. Maybe you'd like to settle things here, Were Tiger, while we're still powerless. Why are you trying to pick a fight right now? You couldn't even beat these two when you had powers. It's the only way to save Yokohama. Kyoka and I won't kill anyone. That's not the way we do things in the detective agency. Didn't you just kill F. Scott Fitzgerald? If he's going to be a pawn for the enemy, I'd rather see him dead. <laughs> no way I'm gonna let you kill Tazai! We don't kill people in the detective agency. I'll kill you! Even the devil himself would be envious. That would make you death's informant. Here is a rat for the devil. You guys are so bad at flirting. It's like nobody's quips are ever actually clever. But since everyone's on the same level of cringe, everyone thinks each other is incredibly witty. Just how were you able to acquire such bountiful reservoirs of knowledge? Every city has its rats begging for a morsel of cheese. Meow. You see what I mean? Bitch, what are you even saying? Don't just say things, Dazai. It's okay to be quiet sometimes. And now, an enemy who is worthy of my attention is right here at my doorstep. Oh yeah, you're such an unstoppable force, Octagawa. Only now have you met an enemy to surpass your abilities. I can help you! This 
just like hardly seems fair. Octagawa's fighting a ninja, Kyoka's fighting a woman with a sword, and Atsushi she has to fight a goddamn tiger. I couldn't kill a tiger with prep time and a gun. Really think about how difficult it would be to kill a tiger. <laughs> Oh, smooth moves, klutz! You got so lucky your ability is as stupid and useless as you are. Exactly as I planned. Shut up. What was your plan, Octagawa? Really break it down for me. It was to get your ability to cut the catwalk so it'd fall in the lava, and then hope that he dove at you so you could bat him over your head and toss him in? Yeah, sounds like you really thought that one out. Yeah, you're a real mathematical genius for that one. It's on her forehead! Oh, let's go! That was hype! That was sick! She just, like, snapped Demon Snow's neck. What happened to Atsushi's tiger, though? <laughs> what? Did you forget about it? <laughs> oh, equally hype. That was so clever. You do realize this is a government facility. There are consequences for assaulting our agents. Shut the fuck up, Ongo. When was the last time somebody faced a consequence in this show? <laughs> oh, stop it. They become friends. Wait, stop it. That's adorable. <laughs> I see. There's more than one traitor. Didn't I tell you? The more excitement for this world, the better. Why would you trust this Russian Lelouch? The more excitement for this world, the better. Sure did. <sighs> so, what comes next? What comes next is you die. You got a knife sticking out of your spine, Dazai. I don't think now's the time to be making drink plans. Now that the original owner is deceased, his special ability is free for the taking. Absolutely not. What are we doing, guys? Who are we trying to fool here? You're, you want me to think Dazai's dead right now? All right, show. I'll play along. Dazai's dead. No! Damn it! God damn it! Don't you dare open that door. You have neither the courage of heart nor the dignity of your own self-worth to do so. Why does Atsushi have to go through an emotional arc to beat his tiger? Octagawa dumped his persona in lava. He, he didn't learn a damn thing about himself. You were hoping that with Dazai's unique ability, you might regain your lost memories. But you'll never remember what happened to you. Yo, who is this Russian guy? This dude showed up dressed like Snoopy, had three total minutes of screen time, and is now acting like he's the antagonist of the entire show. This movie is spiraling out of control right now. Is that me? Oh my god, look at this Jack and Daxter-ass backstory they gave Atsushi. That was the moment I used my claws. 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 Oh, great, sick, we broke him. Nice, Atsushi just leveled up and unlocked a new trauma response. I remember that moment, that moment I, I hit the switch. I did it because a Russian man told me that your power was coveted by all the gifted who Atsushi does not have the most coveted ability. Why do we keep pretending that Atsushi's ability is anything above B tier? He turns into a tiger. Every member of the American Author Society has a better power than him. But after you died, your ability remained intact. Your ability didn't need your body in order to continue its search. Oh, wait, that's actually a crazy twist. So this guy tortured Atsushi to get his ability. Atsushi killed him, and then this guy's ability manifested into its own thing and continued collecting other people's abilities. That's like a pretty great twist considering this guy's ability. Like that actually works with the information we've been given. I am crime. I am punishment. Did you not know? Crime and punishment are close acquaintances. Oh my god, he's 
Dostoyevsky. You know, what's interesting here is that crime and punishment are working together as if they're two halves of a whole. But in No Longer Human, Dazai proposes that Dostoyevsky put crime and punishment together not as synonyms, but antonyms. So according to Dazai, punishment isn't the result of crime, but the opposite of crime. Which actually sort of contradicts what we're seeing here. Now, what does that mean in the greater context of the film and series? Definitely nothing. All it means was that reading this book was putting in way too much effort for this video. Try to keep your shit, would ya? <laughs> Nice, I like how they're about to drop Chewie out of a plane like he's a nuke. Granters of dark disgrace. Chewie is about to fight a fucking dragon. Who could have seen this climax coming? I like how this show keeps being like, no, really, Chewie is like the strongest guy. He's got gravity powers. And then they'll have him make a couple of rocks float and then do a bunch of nonsense that has nothing to do with gravity. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was totally gravity control right there. If gravity's famous for anything, it's deflecting projectiles and causing Rasenguns. Okay, that one's actually gravity. That's your anime scream? Dajai! Horrible. Horrible. I was embarrassed to have to recreate that. I swear to God, if Chuya uses the power of gravity to bring Dazai back to life. <laughs> Oh, never mind, he's just gonna beat up his corpse. <clears throat> Let go of me, asshole. Stay still. Why? The fog hasn't lifted from this area. Something's about to lift from this area if you keep pushing his head down like that. When you guys said I'd end up shipping these two, you didn't tell me Chuya literally blows Dazai. It's still not over? Afraid not. It's just beginning. Use your tongue, Chuya. It'll go a lot faster that way. Damn it. Well, I'm not going anywhere right now. I think I'm gonna pass out. <sighs> Guys, come on, you're making this way too easy. This fog will continue to spread until Earth becomes a dead apple. The entire planet will be a fruit of death. I still don't understand what apples have to do with anything. What is apple suicide? Do we ever find out? Looks like I have my own guest to entertain. Bring it out. I love you! The little girl's his ability? Not better! What a terrible ability! How did this guy become the leader of the Port Mafia? Just carries around six scalpels and wants to fuck his own ability. Therefore, when you embody the tiger, you become the antithesis of all special abilities. Oh, I hate the mutton chops. I don't care if this form is stronger. That hairstyle is not worth the victory. It's up to us. Call Demon Snow again. You look like the cat in the hat, my dude. Just throw in the towel. The ends do not justify the means here. Your turn, Octagawa. As if I need your permission. I love when the main characters are getting their asses kicked in a movie and the protagonist is just like, all we need to do is work together. Follow my lead. And then without discussing any plan, the main character is just like, do it now! And then spontaneously, they all come up with some insane strategy. Like, where did this plan come from? Did I miss the meeting? Show me once more that glimmer of light. The one that can oppose all gifted powers! I am sick of this Atsushi propaganda. Demon Snow is a million times better than turning into a tiger. The only thing that makes Atsushi's ability so powerful is the fact that it can heal. But, but, like, even that's, like, bullshit. Ah. Okay, your power's cool, goddamn. Ah. 
Well, I'm not a gifted, and I ended up back here fine. Oh my god, what? He just admitted it! Yo, what the hell? He knows? What a crazy thing to drop at the end of this movie. Also, did they change his voice actor? That sounded nothing like Rompo. However, this world is so rife with crime and punishment. In order to finally end it, I do need that novel. Yeah, we all really just forgot about Dostoyevsky by the end there, didn't we? Everyone's acting like the day is saved, and they even catch the guy who started everything. And that is Bungo Stray Dog's Dead Apple. Pretty good, like, pretty standard anime movie. It's not as bad as your typical, like, my Hero or Dragon Ball movie, or Naruto movie, One Piece movie, where it just feels like a big, forgettable, nonsense waste of time. Like, there's some revelations in here that you meet, I assume, season three's, like, actual antagonist. Like, at least the stuff going on is canon. Also, like, the fights are good. It's all, it all feels just like an extended episode of Bungo Stray Dogs. It's not as, like, game-changing as Mugen Train, it's not as bad as the first My Hero movie. The antagonist is, like, pretty cool, actually. Personality-wise, he's very whatever, um, but I do like his power. It's, like, not the most original thing, but it's fun. I like I like that it turns everyone's abilities on each other. I really wanted a Rompo scene, though. I really wanted a bit where he's like, oh no, my ability is gonna be the smartest in the world. Where is it? But yeah, all in all, like, pretty fine movie. It's the only reason I really am getting into, like, a review here is because so many people have commented being like, Dead Apple's amazing, I love Dead Apple, which I can see. Like, if you're a massive fan of Bungo Stray Dogs, I can totally see how this is, like, the perfect thing for you. But what's weird is I also get a lot of people being like, Dead Apple sucks, that's when the series goes downhill. Like, this was so, you know, it's not as good as, like, the entirety of season two, but it's fine, like, it's good. It's, it's better, it's better than bad. It's at least good. Like, this is like a B-tier movie, I'd say. Though, like, the bar is low for, like, movies based on anime. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of, uh, Dead Apple in the comments below. Also, if anyone's read No Longer Human, let me know what you thought of that. We'll have a little book club in the comments as well. Make sure you subscribe to my Patreon, it helps out the page a ton. Check out my second page, check out my podcast. You guys know the drill, links are in the description, and I will see you guys next time.